creepy, crawly, scaly, <laughs> slimy snakes. That's all I have, have to say about that. Do this. you have the heebie jeebies? Yes, the I The willy nillies. Yes. All of the too. above. Yes, <laughs> well, here to help us, Reptile Expo. Uh, Blaine Eaton, of course, is, is here to tell you all about the expo happening this weekend. Thank you for being here and bringing your scaly, slithery friends. Oh, thank you. And the Reptile Expo has actually moved this weekend to a new venue. Mm -hmm. It's at the Geronimo Oaks Community Center mm -hmm. in Geronimo. Okay. And it is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, from 10 to 5. There are a variety of snakes, lizards, turtles, tortoises, big variety mm -hmm. of reptiles. Do you recommend going to the expo for someone like me I, that yes. doesn't like snakes? Yes. Why? One is see the different types of snakes, but it helps you get over your fears. No, it doesn't. No, <laughs> snakes. One thing about snakes is they do make good pets. Now, snakes in the wild are very beneficial for f keeping the rodent population down. We are finding that the venomous snakes are very beneficial in medicine. We're looking at treating 20 cancers with proteins of snake venom as well as stroke, heart disease, blood pressure. Okay. I'll be darn. So okay. who do we have here today? What we have here are snakes that are the most common snakes seen at the reptile expos okay. and in pet shops and snakes we recommend as pets. And one of those is the corn snake. Now this is a hatchling corn snake. And this is about the size of corn snakes when they hatch from the eggs. And corn snakes come in a variety of colors, not only the normal red color here, but they come white, pink, they come crimson, butter color, they come striped. Are these that one moves quick. native from the area? <laughs> now, the corn snakes are native to southeastern United States. Okay. okay. This is an adult corn snake. So oh my gosh. in captivity, it gets that big from that. This okay. is how big they get. Mm -hmm. Now, in the wild, corn snakes can reach up to six feet. Corn snake's true name is red rat snake. Okay. And this is our snake that we use in education a lot. Kids held this snake. <laughs> yeah, just keep talking, Blaine. <laughs> He's never been. There's a See? first for everything. <laughs> Corn snake makes a good pet because you don't need supplemental heat. They're native to the United States. They do well at room temperature. Mm -hmm. Just uncoil that Matrix there. handcuffs, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Okay, who have we got here? Okay. We've got time for just uh, one, one more. Okay. Okay, the, this is... The ball python that comes out of uh, Central and West Africa, these are babies. Oh, hello. That is a normal ball python. This is what we call the spider ball python. And again, they come in a variety of colors and patterns. So these are babies. Mm -hmm. This is an adult. So is that, does it get bigger than that? Females can get a little bit bigger. Uh -huh. Males average about three and a half feet. Females, four and a half feet. But these are tropical. They need to be 80 to 85 degrees. So you need to have them in a nice cage. It has heat at one end and a hide box in their water at the other end. And I'm sure you can find out all about it. If you're interested in, in getting snakes as pets or if you'd like more information and from the experts like yourself at the Reptile Expo. At the Reptile Sweden. Expo, okay. we answer a lot of questions. All right, and that is, of course, happening this weekend, the 15th and the 16th at the Geronimo Oaks Event Center. And for ticket information, visit SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.